Introduction to Paint. This chapter focus on starting paint, components of paint window, drawing pictures in paint, some important tools in paint, filling color in a shape, saving your drawing, closing paint. Every computer has an easy to use image creation program. The most popular image creation application is Paint. Paint allows us to draw and paint new shapes and pictures. It also helps us make simple edits to an existing picture. Shall we learn how to start painting? To access the application, step 1. Click on Start button. Step 2. Go to Windows Accessories folder. Step 3. Click on the Paint option. Alternatively, type Paint in the search bar on the desktop. Click on the Paint. When you open Paint, the Paint window will appear and you can draw and color pictures here. What are the components of paint window? You will have a paint icon. You will have customized quick access toolbar. You will have a title bar, a color palette, a ribbon, tabs and drawing area. A quick snippet. Paint program is available in all versions of Microsoft Windows. Components of Paint Window Title Bar It is a horizontal bar located on the top of the window. It shows the program name and the file name. Ribbon The ribbon is the area just below the title bar. It consists of parts, tabs and groups. Each tab contains commands arranged into different groups. For example, Home, View, all these are tabs. Ribbon Color Palette It contains different colors which are used to color the pictures. Shapes Group This group contains various drawing shapes. Tools Group It contains various drawing and coloring tools and also brushes. Drawing area. The drawing area is a white space where colorful drawings are created. It is also called canvas. How to draw pictures in paint. To draw a picture in paint, we use the shapes group on the ribbon. You can see different shapes in this group. Then, you can click on the shape you want and start drawing in the drawing area by keeping the left mouse button pressed. Some important tools in paint. Line tool. You can use the line tool to draw a straight line. Follow these steps to draw a line. Step 1. Click on the line tool in the shapes group. Step 2. Select the line thickness by clicking the size button. Step 3. In the colors group, click on the color 1 option. Choose a color. Step 4. Press the left mouse button and drag the mouse pointer over the drawing area. Step 5. Release the mouse button when you want to end the line. Oval tool. The oval tool is used to draw ovals and circles. Follow these steps to draw an oval or a circle. Step 1. On the Home tab, click on the oval tool in the shapes group. Step 2. Click on the color 1 option in the colors group. Choose any color from the color palette. Step 3. Click on the size button and choose the line thickness. Step 4. Press the left mouse button and drag the mouse pointer 
over the drawing area. Step 5. Simply release the mouse button where you want the shape to end. Note, if you want to draw a circle, press the shift key while dragging. This is how you draw ovals and circles using the oval tool. Now let's learn about rectangle tool. The rectangle tool is used to draw rectangles or square shapes. Follow these steps to draw a rectangle or square. Step 1. On the Home tab, click on the Rectangle tool in the Shapes group. Step 2. Click on the Color 1 option in the Colors group. Choose any color from the color palette. Step 3. Click on the Size button and choose the line thickness. Step 4. Press the left mouse button and drag the mouse pointer over the drawing area. Step 5. Release the mouse button where you want to end the shape. Note: If you want to draw a square, press the shift key while dragging. This is how you draw rectangles and squares using the rectangle tool. Now let's learn how to fill color in a shape. To fill colors in a closed shape, Step 1. Draw shapes in which you want to color. Step 2. Click on the Color 1 option in the Colors group. Choose any color from the color palette. Step 3. Click on Fill with Color tool in the Tools group. Step 4. Click inside the shape that you want to color. This is how you fill colors in the picture. Now let's learn how to save a file. After you have created your image, you may want to save it for later use. To save a file in Paint, Step 1. Click on the File tab. Step 2. Select the Save As option and choose the file format JPEG in the most popular format. It will open a dialog box. Step 3. Type a file name. Step 4. Click on the Save button. This is how you save a file. Thinking skill. Paint also has a black and white mode. The switch is in the Properties dialog and you can easily access it using Ctrl plus E. Now, let's learn how to close paint. To close paint, follow these steps. Step 1. Click on the File tab. Step 2. Click on the Exit option. A quick fact hunt. If you try to close Paint without saving your file, Paint will ask you to save it first, else the file will be lost. Let's have a quick chapter recap. Paint helps us to draw, color and edit pictures. Paint is an application you can see under the Accessories menu. Paint has a color palette tools and a shape menu to help us draw. The rectangle tool is used for making rectangles and squares. The oval tool is used for making ovals and circles. You can save your picture for later use.